much of the uh, Brookfield Selectmen's meeting of Tuesday, June 27, 2017. I'd like to write to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to entertain a motion to acknowledge the monthly reports and minutes of uh, the personnel board and also the capital improvement committee that's also in here also yes, so, those are on the 24th and june 6th for the personnel i'll, I'll make that motion okay uh, i'll step in yes all in favor aye aye all right. and now we have announcements um, we have the Brookfield Concerts on the Common, Friday, July 7th, and it will be at 4 o'clock. We will have the Harrington Hospital Health Truck, 5 a.m. will be the BES -E Jazz Band, 5.30 p.m., Henry the Juggler, 6.30, the Blues Brothers Briefcase, and there will be a baking contest for cookies of all kinds. Judge Judges are needed for baking contests in the event of rain. The concert will be canceled. And we have public access if anybody has anything for public access. Thing that no one does, we'll just get it right on. Okay. This morning, uh, we were going to have a treasurer's uh, discussion because we had a woman that had accepted the job and then she declined it. And so this morning we have with us Mr. Keith Arsenal from West Brookfield. If you'd like to come up here and have a seat. Uh, Mr. Arsenal is um, retired from the town of Charlton. Right? And at one time, I know he was in West Brookfield, but I talked to Jack Tiven about it. Oh, okay. And uh, <clears throat> he is willing to come on, right, as he doesn't want a permanent appointment, but he is willing to come on and help us out as the interim. And so uh, we've talked with some of the different employees. I don't know if you have as of yet, Beth. And I know that... Uh, I have to spoke at least with the tax collector. Yeah. And I know that um, Karen told me that I guess she has spoken to, to Mr. Snyder. And Mr. Snyder has also talked to Holly. Did he talk to you, Brenda? Not recently. Yeah, he, he, yeah. What he discussed was about, um, and then Karen had also spoke to uh, Mr. Arsenal yesterday, and he said that he would be willing to come on as like the interim, and as uh, we could figure like a treasurer consultant, and if we um, hired somebody as treasurer, he would, he's willing to train that person. Yes. Okay. And I, I had actually expressed an interest when you're resume first came through yeah. Mr. Arsenal just because of the fact that uh, I don't like rushing permanent hiring uh, mm -hmm. decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of being very considered in, in, in how you kind of staff your organization, especially mm -hmm. where Brookfield's not a big town. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's nice to have a little bit of running room to make in, any type of permanent commitment, and it mm -hmm. does seem to be, in essence, a, a a good fit. Can, can you talk to me a little bit about, um, it, it looks like you were, you, you ended your career in Charleston, um, and um, which appears to be a, um, you know, a, I know that they're a fairly larger town than we are. Yes. So what, what's the size of the budget for, for Charlton? Oh, 27 million. We're about seven, probably a little seven here. Uh -huh. And then uh, and then West Brookfield, you were there for the, the longest period of time. And uh, do both of those um, towns use VADAR? Yes. yes. So you are familiar with VADAR? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good, okay. Um, sure. And from, a, mm -hmm. what are some of the kind of the key strengths that you think you can provide on a on an interim basis to, to help us I, I know you're you're probably aware we're a little bit behind because of the the staffing you know issues that we have we've had unfortunate you we know really unfortunate, really unfortunate events yeah. and then we have a, 
We hired our longtime um, treasurer had left. I mean, um, town accountant had left, and we hired a new one last year. She's yes. here. This is Carrie. Yes, Carrie Polakowski. This is you. Mr. Asno. And you know, we've hired Carrie, and there's been you know a lot of cleanup that has to be done, mm -hmm. and it ha hasn't really been done a lot on the Bay Island over mm -hmm. in the accountant's office. Okay. So um, we're in the midst of a, of a full account restructuring, yeah. uh, as well as kind of a reconciliation of a yeah. lot of our our uh, long-standing accounts. All of them. All and of our long-standing accounts. I know accounts. we want to let Carrie <coughs> explain what she has done. Sure. I think yeah. that would be. Yeah, I think well, she. Well, we're all kind of like what the process is that we have set up to achieve that reconciliation yeah, on we, a high level. Yeah, because we have had the Department of Revenue was down, but we had a meeting with them a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago. And so Carrie can probably tell you the plan that we have put in place, and they are in a complete approval of it. So what's happening currently is um, there was a lot of discrimination um, in accounts. There's little balances here and there that haven't been figured out through the years and things like that. So, um, so we have contracted Bay State Municipal Accounting through VADAR, mm -hmm. um, and they are completely cleaning up any loose ends for any outstanding years. Um, they're going to make adjusting entries to um, make the money match where it should. Mm -hmm. And um, and then they're also restructuring our accounting system mm -hmm. because it's currently kind of half UMIS, half um, um, statutory. statutory, yes. Mm -hmm. So, and the statutory is really kind of not mm -hmm. non-existent anymore. Mm -hmm. So we are setting up at, at, to you UMA standards um, so that whoever comes into the position um, will be on straight UMA um, accounting. <coughs> and then what will happen after that is um, <coughs> we have uh, VADAR coming in uh, with Bay State Municipal Accounting to offer training to all three departments. We have allotted 25 mm -hmm. hours per department to mm -hmm. help um, each department learn to make VADAR speak better to each other, mm -hmm. because that's a big difficulty here. Um, everyone is kind of given their own little module, but nobody was told how to make it talk to each other. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have some training on that, and they're going to monitor and get us through uh, to December. And at that time, what they're gonna do is close fiscal 16 mm -hmm. with a clean set mm -hmm. of books, um, they are also going to close and produce all the documents for fiscal 17. Um, and that should all be done mm, late September or mid-October. Mm -hmm. um, we do not have free cash certified at this point because of the discrepancies in 16. So as soon as the auditing happens, uh, they will include our 16 money in with the 17 um, uh, approval. So it's not that we're losing yet. We do. We are on an extension, so we're not losing any funds. Um, probably the other piece of it that's important for Mr. Arsenal to understand is I know you've been working diligently in the treasurer's office, but what are the fundamental functions that you feel comfortably that we're still maintaining, and what are some of the areas that you think are going to need the most help, given the, the fact that we've been so short-staffed? If I well, can interrupt <clears throat> for one minute, Mr. Allison, Holly is our assistant treasurer. She filled in right, uh, right off after Sandy uh -huh. went through. So Holly's got some, she's got a lot of knowledge, because she trained under Sandy for four years. Mm -hmm. I've been pretty much keeping up with the health benefits, all the benefits, the payroll, all the warrants that are being pushed through. I'm currently um, entering all of the cash receipts to get those all caught up. Um, okay, yeah. quick question. When was cash last reconciled? Uh, all the way until July of 16, I mean okay. 17. July of 17 we balanced. Um, and then by the time we got to balancing, the rest of it is when Sandy fell ill. So, um, okay. so you mean 16? 16. Yeah. 16. 16. Yeah, so you have about 9 to 10 months? Yes. Yes, but that is being handled by the uh, by Vader. They're going to handle everything and all of the adjustments. Okay. Just uh, a time constraint on them. Sorry. Has the lack of free cash certification affected your budgetary process? Mm. Are you for, 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 on, a, on, a, on a large one? Well, go ahead. Well, uh, what happened? What town meeting? What happened? Well, we met with the Department of Revenue. Yes. And they had recommended that we don't really do any um, 
big spending. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, they said just really things that were important. They said they, they did not really recommend any ways and appropriate. Just do that, you know, for the budget. Mm -hmm. And the rest of it was uh, different items that we really needed. They said to take it out of stabilization. And the selectmen voted we would take out that out of stabilization. And then we um, would put it in an article that we wanted to go back into the stabilization of the fall town meeting. And I have here, where is it? It's not a town report. Right. And that didn't take our stabilization no. under no, like the didn't. recommended minimums, didn't even come close. Yeah. Yeah. From the standpoint of overall fiscal yeah. health, mm -hmm. overall fiscal health. We're not that. We're not. No, we're, we're not. not we're, there's a lot of towns in worse shape than us that haven't had some of the challenges that we've had, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Um, All that we took out of stabilization was, uh, I have it right here, it was $136,106. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're still well above the 5% recommended in stabilization balance. Yeah, so, so big, big picture, healthy, mm -hmm. smaller picture, awful lot of work to do right now. Mm -hmm. Um, but we are bringing in a third party to do the heavy lifting because it just wasn't reasonable with the number of staff and hours to get there. So I think we have a good plan in place. Uh, we'll keep it up with the employee benefits. And then, and of course, you have the elementary school down the street. <laughs> and this is Brenda Miguel. Um, Brenda, I'm sorry, uh, Brenda Parr. She's our tax collector. Uh, and we've rolled everything over to uh, right up until June 1st from the treasurer's office to the accountant. So okay. it was just kind of sitting there in queue. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Um, well, the fortunate thing is I do have uh, quite a few years of experience with me. Mm -hmm. um, started off with data are uh, I don't know, perhaps 15 or so years ago mm -hmm. using the tax title module. Yeah. And then eventually mm -hmm. we, we talked to West Brookfield selected into integrating data across the board. Mm -hmm. So uh, tax like the light love point for some reason, but mm -hmm. I think VADAR mm -hmm. is a uh, uh, <laughs> system. And you can move your batches from one department yes. to the next. So uh, I think it's helpful. That's our goal here. Right. So. Uh, tax title so definitely needs to be addressed, addressed and tweaked because there's something with the actual map and lot that needs to be changed. It literally okay. couldn't fit inside the box, so we mm -hmm. had to shorten them. So, but right. that's so our tax title is kind of hung up right now. Also. On another note, tax title is nowhere near a lot of the towns in yeah. our area. Mm -hmm. We're only about 260. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's minor compared to uh, a lot of the uh, municipalities around. And what type of uh, funds do you appropriate each year for tax dollars? Um, I think we had, what, 30? Was it 15 or 30 this year that we appropriated? 15 or 30. I thought for some it reason ten. they knocked it down. I thought it was, they knocked it down to five. No, they no, wanted no. it knocked down to no, five. Was it eight? 18,000? No, we don't want to say ten. It's ten. You think we left it? Oh, we did leave it. But, if, oh. but if there's a if there's a need, like if mm -hmm. so, there were a number of places where, quite frankly, we were conservative in the budgeting for first quarter, mm -hmm. yes. and the intent was once we get our books reconciled and we have a, a, a better grasp on the tactical mm -hmm. level okay. of our financial health. So if if you were to take an aggressive stance towards the existing tax title and we, we wound up in a position where it was advisable at the special town meeting in the fall to direct some more funds there. Oh. You, you're not going to get a lot of pushback from the selectmen oh. about, about doing that. Uh, no, we do have you, another like 8,600 to encumber. Right. So okay. total balance that like should be sufficient. Okay. Yeah. 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 And that's what we figured anything else that you know we feel with the fall meeting coming on, anything that we have to you know, put some more money into it okay. at that time. Actually, um, because it's so expensive to foreclose on properties, you mm -hmm. need to come up with a plan that yes. makes sense. And you don't want to spend $2,000 to collect 500 mm -hmm. right. True, although sometimes it's worth it just to get it back on the rolls and potentially mm -hmm. get it back into the system as yeah. a... As and Coppola Page is still actively working on what they have mm -hmm. already. So. Yeah. And then another thing that um, Sandy had tried, she went out, because I think she did it in East Brookfield, but mm -hmm. when she was tax collector down there, she went out to some um, company, it was almost like a real estate company, and they would buy up, mm -hmm. buy them all up. The yeah, but, the thing, but the thing was, I guess, we really didn't think that that was all that feasible to do that. 
Yeah, well, I've, I've shied away from it. Yeah. Um, the problem is you become a collector for them. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So um, we, we, didn't, we didn't think it would be a good thing. And idea. he looked at them and he took yeah. one, so I think that yeah. just to show one. how much. So that was about, we, we yeah. didn't go any yeah. further with yeah. that. <laughs> of course, they're going to want the best that they're going to make of me. Yeah. Yeah. So do you have any more questions of us? Well, I do. Um, just to pick one. In, in my career, I've had two textile situations where I actually foreclosed on an old occupied home. Mm -hmm. And I worked with Board of Selectmen to, um, uh, with a parallel operation of the homeowner obtaining a reverse mm -hmm. mortgage. And so the Board of Selectmen was able to rescind her, uh, the, the foreclosure decree. And that particular occupant was able to, elderly woman was yeah. able to retain the property. Yeah. So, I, you know, from my perspective, I don't think we should be in the business of taking things away no. only when, as a last yeah. resort. Yeah. Oh, I, I Certainly, you need to oh, yeah. pay yeah. their fair share. Yeah, I have a soft spot. Set up know. some payment programs right. for the yeah. Yeah. And we, yes. yeah, the collector's been pretty. Yes. Uh, I have say proactive on in those terms, a lot of people yeah. who are on pay as long as they're in contact with me. Yeah, that's important. Like communication. Probably, you know, yeah. yeah. I'm not about kicking people out of their homes. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want that to happen. So I have foreclosed on a lot of properties, particularly in West Brookfield. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard of Brook Haven. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's an area with all the little lots, and people decide they can't do anything with it, so they stop paying. Well, we had the same situation here down at our um, Lakeside Family Camping. It was the same mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. I read about it. <laughs> yeah, it was the same situation we had, and he wouldn't pay the taxes either down there. So uh -huh. went into foreclosure, and then the town has kept it. Mostly okay. it's a lot of just either people passed away or yeah. families that there's so many heirs, it's complicated. Those yeah. seem to be That's yeah. a lot of it is. Yeah, those are the ones that you've done for years. Exactly, and that's yeah. basically what's there. Mm -hmm. So I didn't mean to get bogged down in the tax yeah, side. Yeah. So what is your your goal of his to try to get everything up to snuff yeah. and up to speed? Yeah. And so that's your... Yeah. Uh, our, our primary focus is to support... So Holly's been doing a great job with the tactical, with the pay, with the benefits, mm -hmm. with the personnel type stuff, but she's only one person. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the... There's, there's not a lot of bandwidth there for things like starting to move the, the tax title mm -hmm. bits that are mm -hmm. already in process. There's probably some properties that are getting close that, that do need to transition from the collector's office to the treasurer's mm -hmm. office. Um, we do need to really, we haven't taken a comprehensive look at some of our policies and some of like mm -hmm. our investment policies and establishing perhaps what our standards and good practices ought to be. Mm -hmm. and, and I think part of that's incumbent on the selectmen, but we certainly need some advice in that role, because sure. I know a lot about finance, but I know a lot about operational finance for private companies, mm -hmm. you know, from a standpoint of best practices in a municipality. Mm -hmm. I only know what, what, you know, Mass Municipal puts up on their website, mm -hmm. okay, and versus doing it for, for 25 mm -hmm. years. So I think we would be open to, you know, both the helping with the, the tactical piece of let's get the, the accounts recovered, let's set up some good standard operating procedures between the departments mm -hmm. for reconciliation would probably be the, the, the next piece of it that we really need help with. Um, and then the piece after that is kind of the more like long-term investing financial policies type stuff that might be you, might be the next person depending on, on what, what the timeline winds up being. And then you know, potentially their skill level, because it may be that we have somebody that still requires training, and if you're willing to and interested in staying on a somewhat cons consult <laughs> consultant type role, well, we have to see how it works out. It might be mm -hmm. that, you know, it works out well between the town of Brookfield and yourself and the, and the financial team here, it, or, you know, we, we may get to, to three months from now, and we're all like, she thanks for the help, but <laughs> no, we, uh, we are we are in the process of rewriting a policies and procedure mm -hmm. book, Good. and then also where finances and things, um, we deal with the following year, and they do come in. Like Holly, okay. they have yeah. been in, so you know they're there for us. For I was going to ask who handles the trust funds. Yeah, that's who right. handles yeah. on trust funds. Yeah, I've used them in a few. Yeah, yeah, they are very good. good. 
Uh, how about for open depository? Maybe not for And then also we deal with the hometown, hometown. Actual hometown. They have a server. Everything okay. I collect goes into hometown. It does. Mm -hmm. right. Do you use a lot of apps to do? No. No. Online payments? Yep. We do Unibank online, which is The more is you have really these good. services you offer, though, the more mm -hmm. challenging mm -hmm. the reconciliation to be. And the more your funds are spread out, the more I just love to have you yeah. open new ones. I am. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But it's almost the nature of the beast now with everything online. Everything mm -hmm. we do online creates a new account. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. right. So, so th those are some of the areas where I'm sure your experience could really help us out and try to navigate. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, and then um, we have, I know Mr. Snyder, who has discussed with Karen. And discussed with me, and he also yes. discussed with Holly. Yeah, yeah. and Holly also, that might work. because um, a plan that might work, we would like to hire um, the other candidate, uh, Lonnie, how do you say Lonnie? Creation. 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 She has been involved with all kinds of this. She worked in Chowton for a while. You might yes, know her. Yeah, I know her. You know why. Yeah. And then she's worked for the town of Knockbridge. Mm -hmm. And she's... Framingham. Framingham. And she's been involved with a lot of uh, municipal over the years. And that's really kind of what we would like. Municipal. Mm -hmm. Which position? For the treasurer's position. You could. And we want to send her to school this year. Mm -hmm. And we wanted you probably to uh, train her for the position. Uh, does she have financial experience? She has financial experience from um, Framingham she, yeah. and Holly. Well, let's see, she had been helping Holly up with the financial court. Mm -hmm. And then when she was with, um, with the town of Framingham, she worked for them. And she was responsible here for um, everything, basically down there, the spreadsheets for various, uh, you know, projects. And she also uh, took care of um, 40 to 50 employees' personnel records, and she did the, uh, she did all the pay mm -hmm. and the payrolls and everything down there. So she is familiar, you know, with some financial. She's a very smart um, yeah. mm -hmm. person very smart. as well. Picks up things very quickly. Is she currently employed by the company? Yes, she, yes, she uh, works I for... I saw her name on the yeah. website, that's why. Yeah. She, mm -hmm. um, she's the assistant town clerk. Oh, okay. And, but that's not... I mean, it's a few hours a week. Mm -hmm. And then she's the public records officer. Yes. And she's the uh, secretary of the Board of Health. And that's just a few hours. Yeah. And then she's been helping us out here in the office with a municipal... Uh, as a municipal clerk also. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, she does have the training for the municipality and we think that uh, she would do a good job. I mean, personally, I do. I don't know how Beth feels, but Mr. Snyder had expressed the last time, I know he had talked to, to Holly and he had talked to Karen, that he expressed those, uh, the same thing I had. Now, Holly, do you want to add into this at all? Well, we just, he came in to see me Friday and we did discuss mm -hmm. hiring of Lonnie and we both just came to the conclusion that that was probably the best idea with a consultant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I second Lonnie. I think she's a very valuable employee and under your you've but got so much knowledge mm -hmm. that I think you could train her. You could her. train her. Yeah, she's already started with the beta and that training. Yeah. 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 And the and the kind of the primary goal is as I would see this model though, is it's kind of getting getting sprung on me in in real time would be um would be kind of a long term mentorship mm -hmm. standing with somebody like yourself would be very advantageous because she has the background with navigating municipal, she has the relationship with the financial team and having supported them in, in a more administrative role, but, you know, is, is very green from the perspective of, of some of the very solid questions that you're asking, understanding mm -hmm. what those processes need to look like understanding what a good reconciliation looks well, like between treasurer and accountant. To, I know she will learn her first week. She is going to treasurer school. Right. And she's willing to learn. And a lot of times, um, different communities and, have had people that come in our little green and they pick it up. Well, and, and right, and I'm not disrespecting her in saying that, but what I, what I would like Mr. Arsenal to understand is that, that just because 
there's a lot of advocacy for her filling the role long term. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we don't need you and your skill set. Oh wait, oh, oh, I like oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh, we didn't say yes. that. Yes. Just wanted to, I just wanted to make, no. just wanted to make Karen, sure we, we put Karen that. Karen talked to Mr. Arsenal yesterday and um, about this. Okay. I don't know. He knows he would be in here like he's the interim, and he would be a consultant, and he was willing to. Could I make a request? Shall we drop to Mr. Arsenal? And just say, <laughs> okay, okay. Sir, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. No, no, okay. I, we've been here for a few minutes. <laughs> we have. I'm, just, I'm trying to be respectful because sometimes I'm just being too casual. Yeah. So, it's a Good. All right. Um, what else? So I guess I guess in that in that framework, what would you see as being an appropriate say schedule for yourself? What what do you think, given kind of the the state of of where we are, what would your recommendation be? Would you want to come in, you know, two days a week for a certain number of hours? Would you want to come in three days a week for a certain number of hours? Would it be four days a week for a certain number of hours to start the process of Getting a feel for for where the town is at, yeah. uh, you know that sort of thing. Uh, my well, I, I definitely need to see where the town is yes. at this point in time. So I want to see all the bank statements. We're going mm -hmm. to see the last cash reconciliation. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we're going to um, want to see what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. What turnover. Not so much the turnovers themselves, but have the cash reports. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm working on now. That'll be current by the end of the week. Okay. I'm already up to March, so. Right, good. Um, is, are the deposits being done? Daily? Oh, the deposits are being done. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. just the the entry, the data entry that's okay. that's behind. Because Holly had like the signing power. She would, you know, just sign the checks, and she yeah. her name's on all on bank statements and. All. And on everything, so she has all of that power to do that. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so you have a, a day. Um, well, first of all, um, do we want it to make a entertain a motion? Well, we haven't we haven't discussed remuneration. Oh, okay, right. all right. <laughs> right. Then, then we haven't talked about the hard stuff yet. No. So, and what that framework would be. I was yeah. I was I was dancing around it with schedule. So. So. What is your thought? How many hours a week? Or, well, no, what he's looking at is, is probably trying to figure out, are we, are we talking about some sort of like, you know, whether it's in, in terms of hourly rate. Or hourly in, rate, well that is salary. something, you know, that we would probably, you know, have to discuss and mm -hmm. ask you what you would want for an hourly rate. Right. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a guess and say probably about 12 hours a week. Okay, 12 hours a week. Okay. And what would you ask for our salary? Uh, my uh, hourly rate in Charlton when I left was 43.50. Okay. Okay. So that is what you would you would want 43.57. You wouldn't negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I understand they're Charlton and this yeah. is Brookfield. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, yeah. that, that, yeah. That, that, yeah. The, the, the challenge is, is that they have a, they, no, they have a, a $27 million yeah. budget and we have a $7 million yeah. budget. So, yeah. so do, is there any room for negotiation well, in this? Let me ask you this. What do you pay the public safety officers who perform police details? Uh, um, currently, it's $44 yeah, an hour. 44. All right. Is it 44 uh, It Holly, is. Holly would know that yeah. because she works. Uh, I'm negotiating it's, right now. Oh, you are? Yeah, it's 44 So, so how do you compare one with the other? It's based no. off of largely, it, so, and that's a really good question, yeah. Yeah. frankly. Yeah. Um, and it's money safety versus physical yeah. safety, in, in essence. It's money. Yeah. Um, Flip side of that is generally those details are in essence overtime, so it's really kind of the equivalent of time and a half. So. Except for the guys who have already worked a full week. Yeah, they've already worked a full week. Well, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying is that most of the details are are are, are generally in essence overtime for those guys because they've got they've gotten their full week in before they ever get a detail. So, really, it's closer to a thirty dollar an hour pay rate at time and a half when you look at forty four dollars an hour. 
What is their hourly rate? Yeah, what, yeah what's the hot? Hour their hourly rate. Well, the full time rate? Full time rate is about, it's between 25 and 30, basically. No. Or between 22 and, yeah. Between 22 and like 28 is yeah. a full time yeah. rate. Yeah, right, yeah. right. So. Yeah, I don't um, think anybody's over 30. Yeah. No. Yeah. <clears throat> um, um, <coughs> so, can you figure out that's what it would be? Well, what I'm figuring out, and I'm using a couple of industry standard type of, of, of math calculations that probably have no bearing on reality, but mm -hmm. I'll at least explain to you my logic, okay? Um, is that if you, ex if you accept the premise that, let's see here, I'm coming out with a number that would be closer, con considering that it's a consultancy level and one of the one of the challenges is is that when you pay an employee, you basically pay you, you have in essence a carrying cost for that employee of about twenty five percent or higher or higher, or higher. Mm -hmm. with the town it's probably a little bit higher mm -hmm. okay um, and I used a starting point of just just for the sake of argument or not argument yeah. but discussion uh, of uh, of three quarters of what your initial offer was for a starting point mm -hmm. for the town, and then adding kind of the fifteen percent premium that you normally consider is the minimum for a consultant versus versus an employee rate, because you you don't have that burden of of the other benefits with a seasonal worker. And I'm coming out with about thirty seven fifty an hour. Typically, when I um, calculate the employee benefits, um, I'm coming up with close to 14% just for the retirement. Right. And the town mm -hmm. provides uh, Worcester Regional yes. Retirement System mm -hmm. with uh, annual payment. Okay. And based on prior calculations, it's in that range of 14%. And then Medicare is, is still going to be there, mm -hmm. uh, health insurance, all of those types of benefits. And then when you factor in vacation and, and uh, holiday pay, it does get up closer to 40%. It does get up closer to 40%. So, um, you know, we can, we can cut the hours a little. Uh, one of the things is I'm not here to chit chat, but no, I come oh, in, I understand I'm that. coming to mm -hmm. see what you need, identify it and then map out a plan to get it done. Mm -hmm. uh, the other advantage you get with someone like myself is, well, with the town of West Brookfield, I made a lot of money over the years, mm -hmm. particularly back in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, with the town of Charlton, uh, we were in a health, ins health insurance consortium with Bay Path Vocational mm -hmm. School in the town of Dudley. I worked out, um, entry into the Hampshire Council of Governments, Health Insurance Trust, and the town's, just the town of Charlton saving over $175,000 a year. Uh, Bay Path saving over $300,000 a year. And that's not just one year, that's going forward. Yeah. The, the point of the example is that I keep my eyes open for opportunities mm -hmm. and bring it to the board of selectmen. So, well, I, I can't make promises, but mm. that's one of the additional advantages. Thank so you. right now we're for I know that's when you right now we're with my you know mm -hmm. with our Blue Cross yeah. and they right now are the, you know, the most reasonable one and we have tried in the past because I was on the insurance committee yes and we have tried with other ones and you know nobody has really wanted to get involved because you know we're such we're small, but we're still a small community. And um, we did, I think, go, how long did you do on our time? Right. I, I did think we did try to get involved with the one up that you were just talking about. Uh -huh. so, so, and, and it may be that there were some, there may be some places where, Ms. where Keith's contacts might be um, useful. 
And, and I think one of the things that perhaps we need to, to, to consider would be um, setting some value to if you found something like that. So in a consultancy role, mm -hmm. not everything is an hourly rate, not everything is in salary, because I've, I've done that type of work in the past. Uh -huh. So, um, and, I, and I don't know how you feel about the number I came up with, Linda, at thirty seven fifty. Well, this is something I think we will also have to discuss with, you know, with Mr. Snyder and see how she, he feels about that, you know, uh, his ideas. Right, but at, and what did they budget, and I, I'm, I'm oh, looking at it also from the larger, from the, from the larger though. structure, what did I, we budget I for your, right uh, here. For your clerk. Oh, well, my clerk? Yeah, total. Uh, 6500 Okay, treasurer. Let's find it right here. Okay, treasurer's salary was um, thirty-three thousand one hundred forty-one dollars, and it's at eighty-four cents. What we round that? Sorry, how much was it? It was thirty-three thousand one hundred forty-one dollars and eighty-four cents. It was two percent. Yeah. That's the two percent. No, plus two percent. Oh, that you. That gave is the two percent. Now I'm in the two percent column. Okay. And that was so, based on what? Twenty-four hours a week. That was based on twenty-four hours, but mm -hmm. but Sandy spent a lot more time than twenty-four hours mm -hmm. in here. <laughs> What are you coming up with, Patrick? Well, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to take a look at, at first of all, what's... How many parcels do you have? Huh? How many parcels do you have? Uh, about 1,500. Okay. I mean, it's personal property account, so... You know, and, and honestly, our... If we were to pay you, in essence, time and a half at the rate that we, we have budgeted for our treasure with the presumption that you'd be half again as effective based on your experience, mm -hmm. it still comes out to that $40 an hour. Well, I'm over here, I was thinking 42 So, And, of course, this is a public meeting, so... Yeah. Well, that's unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, everything has to be yeah. a, a public meeting, it has so... To be a public meeting. So, uh, we just well, a time frame? I'm just curious as to what... Well, so, so here's, here's my thought on it, is to take a look at... Um, and, and we probably have to do some fuzzy math, and we might have to do some fuzzy math, in, including with regards to... to um, our our primary hire from a standpoint yeah. of s knowing that that Lonnie would not be necessarily <laughs> capable of doing the full job from the get go. Right. Yes, Is that during that. during the during the training period or interim training period, the hourly rate might be something less than what we budgeted again, oh. quite frankly. Yes, okay. I understand that fully, and I have talked to her, and she understands that also. Okay, that's great. Um, and just trying to figure figure it out. I mean, at at forty an hour, if we took let's see here. And what you say about how many hours a week did you maybe? He was thinking about twelve. Twelve. Yeah, but but what I'm what I was looking at was was nine sixty. Yeah, because you can work 960 hours. Yes. Yeah, so at, at 12 hours, it's it's more than a year's worth of work that you can technically work. Um, but what would that leave like if uh, you figure but, uh, to, pay, to pay another person also? Well, well, and that's one of the reasons why I was asking the question about how much we had with the accountant clerk, because mm -hmm. those funds, as far as I'm concerned, we can figure out a way to, to use that for one or the other person's pay initially during that period of time. Because it is a wages account, and they're doing financial activities, and I think it's in keeping with with kind of what our original plan was, particularly yeah. during the training period. Yeah, during training period. Yeah. Um, it, it would be a it, it well, it would be an appropriate. Well, 
and here's the problem. Right. You can't have her be the treasurer um, and work for me. Yeah. Well, I understand you that. You can't do the two things. Right. Yeah. No, I understand that. So, and you still need the help. Mm -hmm. she would but we could to... potentially pay Ms. Uh, Keith here out of the consultant fees because in essence that's what he would be acting as. If she was designated in paper as the treasurer, mm -hmm. then he would be brought on board specifically as a as a treasurer consultant. Treasurer consultant. Interim, yeah, like interim treasurer consultant. I think we put some money in for a consultant also, didn't we? A consultant? Yeah, it's like, usually we fund $20,000 annually for a consultant. But and what, that's what generally time, related to, that to bringing in money. Under the treasurers? Oh, okay. Because I think we put in for some okay. consulting services. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. Could we encumber the um, balance of the or have to check with deal or ask him? No, yeah. we don't have anything in there. What's that? So, there's nothing. Oh, no, it's, 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 uh, it's the treasurer's treasure salary. The uh, and then it's, it says the. Uh, jobs, well, oh, what can you look some of Assistant yeah. expenses certification software. Yeah, it's nothing okay. for consulting. Mm -hmm. How about the selectmen um, consultant? Yeah, that's where yeah, I was going with selectmen consultant. Selectmen consultant. Mm -hmm. I want to say it was only 2500 for some reason. No, that's confused. I it was 10, I'm thinking 10000 for the consultant. Okay, selectmen consultant, it is 10000 yeah. We could probably use a portion of that. We use a portion of that also. Yeah. Um, probably get us through July by right? encumbering huh? some that's funds also used for the treasury. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that's you could encumber some, some, but it yeah, would have to be what we think it. we're, we're going to And we also spend. use this, also, some of this for grant writing is 10000 Well, I know we use it for grant writing. The grant writing also. Um, okay. So how we, um... So right now, where, where, where are we? So you started at 40... Three. We started at, I don't know where we started. I think we started, we were thinking we were starting at 25, but in reality, then we, we probably started at 37. Yeah, then we went to 3750. So, well, I think we can agree on 40. Can we agree on 40? I think we can, I think we can agree on 40. Yeah, we'll agree on 40. I'll make the motion. I'd like to entertain the motion. I'll make the motion at 40. At 40. Uh, all in with favor? Any discussion now for you? You would be satisfied with 40 hours. Yes. I mean, $40. I'm <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. uh, no discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And you think probably you'd be in here like, uh, you think, about 12 hours a week? Well, I'm trying I, to I, I, I think what we would want, or, or my perception of what you said that would seem to make sense to me would be probably there's some upfront loading. So it mm -hmm. may be that you need to come in 25 or 30 hours the first week to figure out where we are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And then from that, if you would present a plan to us about what you think your schedule ought to be, that would be great. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. I have to make the motion to hire him. Okay, and then we have to also... There's, there's a paper. Yeah, 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 I'd like to make a motion if you if oh, go to the position. Um, um, so um, we can do this for 90 days. Uh, we can, we can, we can yeah. so, so the, yeah. the, 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 the technical, technically what we're doing is, is, uh, and I have to see how we would, how we would do this, is that we would, we either need to hire him as a, in essence, a seasonal worker, which would keep a him. seasonal worker? No, there's no such thing no, as no, no, no. Under our, right. under our bylaws, there's temporary. According to federal laws, there's not. No. No, temporary, yes. Well, it's temporary, yes. yes. Temporary. Seasonal, seasonal is no longer. Meant, I meant, I meant temporary. We, we could okay. hire yes. him like you said. Say for or a 90 day or period, and or we can or, 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 or I was going to say we can 1099 him as a consultant. So, which would you prefer? I would prefer to be an employee. Mm -hmm. You would prefer to be an employee. Yeah. So, it would be in a, in a temporary, it would be in a temporary role. Yes, yes. for say um, 90 day period. And if we feel that we have to go over 90 sure, days, then, then, we then, we, then we would, then we would, then we would do it in, in, in options of yes. that. And so yes. long as you stay under right. the, the 960 yeah. hours, then it's, it's kosher yes. for both you and the town to maintain you in a temporary role. Yes. Yeah. So, well, we can do that. Yeah. We yeah. can do that. So, um, but the problem with the consultant 1099 is the self-employee. Yes. So if I can yeah. Understood. 
Yes. Oh, no, I understand too. I wouldn't go along with that. <laughs> <laughs> with that. 1099 either. So, yeah. All right, so um, then we'll make a motion also. So, okay. so I'll, 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 I'll make that motion to, to hire. I'm sorry. No, I mean, usually the chairman does the hire, <laughs> makes the motion. I would like to entertain a motion to appoint uh, Mr. Keith Arsenal as our interim treasurer and consultant. A second. Um, any more discussion? All in favor, aye. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. Aye. Okay, we're all set. All right. Okay. Pleasure. Yes. Nice to meet you. Pleasure met nice Mr. Keith. And I'm going to just so you don't have to be, you know, formal. Okay. Yeah. And so I can lose the coat tie. You can lose the coat tie. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I, mean, yeah. I think that's what yeah. kept on getting that Mr. Out. Out. <laughs> so we have... Uh, and my <laughs> apologies, I'm making a slip Well, we're going to talk, we'll talk about that, too. Okay, okay. Yeah. then we also have to, um, we have to do a quarry check. You know, we do, mm -hmm. do that all the time. And then you have to fill out all your paperwork. Okay. And so Karen, could, yeah, it I would be it would be contingent on a, an acceptable quarry, and uh, and and did you include any references? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a successful bond. Yeah, Lonnie, yeah. yeah, we did get some references for Lonnie, and we have talked to people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you have references for me? From you, you? I don't believe so. No, I just have the. Uh, well, I have like his his resume is in there. I don't know what you have with like one of them. Yeah, there was, there was no, there was no references. If you could, if you could submit them, that would be great. Yep, I can write them down now. I had, I had one that already gave you a very good review. That and he was one yeah. of the. Yeah, yeah. he was one of the. Yeah, he gave you a very good review. Thank you. So I'm gonna call you references. And then after we get everything all settled around, we'll. I'm pushing to call the your auditor. Okay. Yeah, we'll call Tom. Okay. I know Tom very well. He's been coming down for a long time. Down here. And then Joan Walker had helped us out here in Brookfield. Yeah, Joan. Yeah, Joan too. I'll, I'll call Joan to the end. Um, because I know she helped us out for quite a while, and I think she's yeah. back down in Charlton now. She's helping out in Charlton, too. <laughs> and we'll let her retire. Yeah. 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 And she did a very good job for us, and she trained Carrie. She trained Carrie. I mean, Carrie is an accountant, but she hadn't done municipal. And so she picks it up very good. She's doing a good job. Um, one of the other benefits is my wife's been a municipal accountant for 38 years. Wow. So, wow. Okay. Yeah, that was a tough one with no firewall in West Brookfield other than the dinner table. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. now, now, Your wife was the accountant in West Brookfield? Yes. Yeah, sure. oh. <laughs> things, unfortunately, you know, uh, leadership changes. Yeah. Management changes. Uh, the Board of Selectmen in Brimfield wooed her to act at Brimfield. Oh. She had been accountant in both places and she retired for a year. They obtained an outside accounting firm. Yeah. They weren't happy with that particular firm, and, and they contacted the owner. It's just for having. Great. Yep. Now, who is um, Al Collins? Al Collins, a West Brookfield resident. He had been chairman okay. of the uh, advisory board for okay. 10 years. That'd be great. I don't. He's in the phone book. Uh, he is. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll be fine. That's fine. Okay. And Joe and Jack. I know. I have Jack's number too. He's involved with the Knights of Columbus. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is how we know Jack so well. <laughs> everybody knows Jack. Oh, everybody knows Jack. Okay, so we'll have to, you know, you can fill out, you know, like for the quarry. Maybe okay. How so we can get that for you. We could do it today or yeah. I was tentative the quarry and coming back on Thursday. Yeah. It's up to you. Uh, it's up to you. Are you. Do you have time that you could get his packet together? Oh, I do. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, Keith and Thanks Megan. Again. Thank you. Right. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And do we want to talk about hiring Lonnie as the treasurer, or do we want to wait until? Um, Thank you. Oh, great. Well, obviously, didn't get on this one. Uh, we we'll probably need clearance for the that. pay discussion for Lonnie yes, to figure I think out so, what that was. So. But well, would you agree? Would you like to hire her? I would concur with that. Yes, I would like to uh, make a motion to hire Lonnie 
Chris, how do you say it? Croatia. Croatia. Croatia as the, the town treasurer and she will be um, part by uh, our um, Keith, Keith Arsenal to be our right. And uh, um, I'd like to make entertain a motion for that. And okay, then, I'll make that motion. And any discussion? Well, the only thing is we'll uh, just have to talk to Clarence next week about um, the pay. Right, that pays and down. then um, maybe with her, if we can hold her off till next week. We'll see if she will accept the position, yeah. but we have to talk about the pay with her. And we'll just hold off till next week getting her in. And we had called her, she had all very good references also. We called on the supposed Great. already. So that's all set. Okay, so that's set there. Okay. All righty, so do we want to- Did we vote it? Or did we just yeah. make the motion? Yeah, well, we Linda, yeah, that's so moved when the yeah. second did. Okay, so we'll did vote you, it. Did I said to the voter and I'll all in favor, aye. Okay, so do we want to do the appointments now or mm -hmm. do we want to wait? No, let's do them. We put them off. Okay, all right. Yes. Okay, here we have. Um, For the advisory board, there's, um, there's extra. There's more people than yeah, we have. Yeah, if you want to look at the list, maybe you want to share that with the list. There is. There's yeah, more people than, than, than oh, nine. No, I will. And, and we'll look at the list two together. And she said that we had like four to play with because we have, uh, because Bill's off now right and so we have three so we need at least six people correct six well well three people and you're supposed eight. to be looks like you have eight new ones eight new ones on here so okay that's fine. i think that's what it was Four. so it's a total with the the total of the board is what nine nine mm -hmm. nine people this okay, so we actually that, have five two that are already on that the road okay. which is mr auburn and and um steve gillen okay so and all the rest of gillis and all the rest of you know yeah do you want to appoint Mr. Gillis? Uh, oh, and then we uh, have the other two, two that are I'll, I'll, make a I'll make a motion to appoint Mr. Gillis. Okay, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Anthony Auburn, I'd like to make a motion to um, retain him, too. Okay, I'll second that. Okay, not ready. And um, how about Kenneth Cleveland? He's got some good experience yeah. having been on the select yeah, minute as well yes. as been on finance before, yes. I believe. Okay, or on advisory before. Okay, so, so we'll I'll, appoint. I'll make a motion to uh, appoint uh, Ken Cleveland. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then Leonard Farr. He. Uh, let's see here. He's our senior work officer. He's our senior work officer. Okay, I know um, I had a discussion with yes. him and he is. Uh, very willing as long as yes. there's some training involved and that's one yes. of the things I was going to wanted to speak with you and Clarence about yes. is that I'd like to do some training for the advisory board. Oh well, yeah, they so. do, they they usually do have a training session in the fall and it's run by the Department of Revenue. They well, they had it in May this yeah. year, so but are they going to have another oh, one in yeah, the fall? Oh yeah, they usually do, they usually have one in the fall. Okay. So All they right. can probably, it well, would be nice if we could get them, you know, if they're available to go. Right, but if they're if they're not, we can maybe do something with them informally. Yes, yeah. okay. But I'll, I'll make the motion for Leon, um, Le Leonard, Leonard, I'm sorry, um, Leonard Farr. I'll, I'll make that motion. I mean, I'll second it. So now we have one, two, three, four. four. Okay, Maureen Murano. Uh, actually, Curtis Schoen, I believe, had the... I don't know uh, He is a... Uh, uh, accountant for like corporate accounting. Um, I, I think he would be a great candidate for one of that, unless no. you wanted to go with Maureen because she has a background as a senior account uh, person, again, corporate side, and she's retired. He's yes. got a full time job. Yes. I, I think because um, Karen said she had met her and she's very personable and she said she seems very well in tune with. Okay. So I'd like to, Maureen, I had to say the last name? Uh, Mariano. Mariano, I would like to make a motion to appoint her. I'll second that. All right. And we could. You can have more than nine. Nine. How can, many we have now? Can you? No, uh, I no. Think that's nine. one of the ones that's defined by yeah, bylaw. It is that's fine. Okay, so now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. We need one more. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We need one more. So would you so, want to put um, on? Um, I'd like to. I kind of like to see. Well, you know what? Um, 
I know Tara Brown has been on it previously. Yeah, she had been on, and she did, but she didn't stay. Did she, she didn't because her husband had a, a significant a, a health event. Yeah. That's now reconciled. So would you? Well, you don't have Curtis on there. Who? Oh, or Curtis. Oh, you want to put him? Oh, that's true. We could go with Curtis. The two of them. Ooh. Okay. So it's up. What do you? Who? Who? who do you, I mean, I don't. Um, you don't know either one of them. Oh, um, no, I don't. Wow. Know. That's a tough. That's a tough choice because I. Wow. Now, you've worked with her before. I have worked with How her before. Old? She's got very good Excel skills. Um, she does understand at least some of the basics of municipal mm -hmm. finance. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I spoke with Curtis, and he's got like some some mad knowledge about nonprofits. So okay. Um, so let's let's go ahead and I'll make a motion again? for Curtis. Okay, yeah. I will second that motion. Okay, so we're all set with that. Okay, great. Okay, now we'll move on to the Agricultural Commission for a three-year term for Barbara, Barbara Haviland and Cindy Thompson. And I'll make that motion. Uh, second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we have alternates. We have Donald Grimes, Kenneth Cleveland, Donald Haviland, and Mark Ledoux. Um, I'll make the motion to appoint them. Yeah, I'll second. Okay. And we need an assistant um, animal control officer. We have to find somebody for that position. Yeah. We don't have. We don't have anyone. Working on that. Right. It's, only, have, it's only the yellow that has to be reappointed. Yeah, yeah. Only the highlighted have, ones. Have we reached out to the Sturbridge animal control officer to oh. see if they would take our assistant animal control officer yeah. position just to we, reply on I'm pretty sure payment. we had. Last time I yeah. talked to. Um, to Sarah Perdue, wow. I know I did inform her that Tony Polakowski yes. wasn't interested in continuing, she and happy. she thought she had someone in mind. I haven't talked to her since. I can okay. we'll call. find, find out who it is. She, yeah, it, okay. it, she doesn't have anyone in place. She's still working on it. But I will suggest you think that Sturbridge Animal Control Officer might be willing. Well, I know we, it's, it's probably not enough funds we, to really interest her, but if it's only as backup. I know, we, I know we reached out to a lot of communities and nobody was really Well, interested. Sarah did, yes. And Sarah, I know she had, she did say she had someone else in mind and, and told her she couldn't do it, but she didn't. And if you could actually ask Sarah to reach out to them about potentially, they do have their own um, so animal control kennel. We um, have to see to. if we can work out a relationship yeah. with them in the interim until we we've, figure we've out what been, we do we about the facilities. Been, we have been working on that ever since. Yeah. And really should, the perfect place for it, where they re re originally wanted to put it years ago, was at the landfill. Mm -hmm. And we had um, the appropriated money, so I don't know what happened to that, but Board of Health because, does not, yeah, my they don't want Board it. Board of Health does not want they it. They don't want it. Know, yeah. I think it, well, Sarah thinks it would be a good place. It is a good location. Yeah, it is a good location. Yeah. And you're one of the neighbors and you're not not objecting to it. So I that's don't object to it. <laughs> no, I don't object to it at all. Right. Um, I think I think we need to revisit that. No, I think we health. also have to revisit that too. Yeah, because I know that there, there's um, like pre-made kennel buildings specifically for that type of facility mm -hmm. that meet all the state of Massachusetts yes. regulations that would at least give us a baseline for how much it would cost. Yeah. And they literally can get dropped in place. Yes, they do. And I mean, it's amazing. I, I, we really need, I feel we really need our own facility because I know when Carrie's husband was helping out, you know, he, um, they would take the dogs home themselves. Right. And then if Quaybog had um, some room, Quaybog would take them, but then right. we have to pay all of that. Too. Right. All right, so why don't we do that? I think we should visit that. Okay. Uh-uh. All right. Did, did, did we vote the animal inspector? No, yep. Oh, animal inspector was William Thompson. Okay, I'll make that motion. And I'll second it. And all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we're down to the bylaw committee. Uh, James Jessica did not want to be on the oh, right. James Cook. Barbara Wilson. Uh, J. David Holcraft. And Robert Bonds, and we still have to find somebody. I tell you what, let's. Can you send a note out to Tara Brown and see if she's willing to get involved in the bylaw? Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. But you want to appoint all of these? So, so that bylaw committee hasn't delivered um, any reports or minutes for. I don't know how long, long, reason, how long they meet. I know when I was I tell you what, let's, let's hold off on bylaw okay. committee and let's send out a solicitation for additional people who will want to take an active role in revising okay. the bylaws. I, I know that I was, um, I was on it for a while 
and we used to meet maybe once a month or something. Right. I, don't I think mean, even they, monthly would be fine, but, but I, I don't think I don't that they really, activities. I don't really think that they have them. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, this is the CBG advisory, and I said I didn't want to be on it this year. So we have Bruce Clark, um, uh, Lucinda Thompson, Bethany Roberts, Muriel Knight, and Bill Simpson. I don't know, but we need a selectman on there. I believe you do because you were representing yeah, the selectman on there, so you don't want to do it. Does anyone else want to volunteer? If you need to, I'll do it. Because okay. I feel pretty passionately about pursuing CDBG yeah. money. Okay. For the I'm just job. too, you know, the things go. All righty, so All right, I'm going to put that on. Okay. I would like to make a motion to approve all of those appointments. I'll second that. Okay, all in favor? Yes. Um, and did, did you read off the names that were on there? Yeah, I did already. Okay. Yeah, I had read them all. If you want me to do them again. No, nope, that's okay. Okay. And I'll just do a new, new slip for you. And then did we do the Central Mass Regional oh, Planning? Oh, no, we didn't do that. Okay, we have um, Central Mass Regional Planning is Kevin Urkel. And Maureen Lee Pat. No, Maureen. Mm -hmm. It's just Kevin. Just, just Kevin. Kevin. No, so, it's Maureen too. I'm sorry. It's Maureen. So oh, the, the board, the the board appoints the main person. Oh, that's what it is. Right. Okay. So right. Yeah, that's the, right. The, the select board appoints so, the main person okay. and uh, and the planning board appoints the alternate. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to appoint So the four, both of them? So you'll have to, she'll, they'll have to appoint Maureen, correct? She's the delegate. Because um, I have Kevin as the alternate. Whereas Kevin's supposed to be the delegate. Yeah. The point, the problem is, I don't know if Maureen wants to do it or not. So do, we want to just hold, do we want to just hold off hold then? On. Let's hold off on we'll that. We'll hold off on that one too. All right. And you'll be appointing Kevin anyway, so that's not an issue okay. here. So we'll see right. Okay, then we have a constable for one year, Arthur Tatro. Okay, I'll make the motion for Arthur Tatro for yeah. one year constable. No, second. I'm in favor. Aye. 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 Then now in the cultural council, we'll go here. Uh, Gene Weidel. Aye. And I'll make the motion for Jean Lytle and Kathleen Kathy. Landry. Yeah. Okay, I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then election workers, we have Jane Kay, Carol Lafayette, Annette Lindsay, our resilient, um, Catherine Latour is the warden, Carolyn Murray, Karen Simpson, Marie Wooden, Sally Brown, Sandra Pratt, Sandra Renard and Geraldine Pizzazz, and this is for a one-year term. You have that motion? Well, I have had the For motion. all those names. Yep. Yeah. Motion for all of these names. And um, we just second. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And now we're going to go down to the emergency medical squad. And this is all for um, three years. Okay. We have Peter Martell as the captain. Matthew Grace as a lieutenant. But I thought they, uh, they're indicated as being good through 2019. Yeah, they, yeah. That's, okay. that, that shouldn't be high. That just be oh, down okay, to all right. All right, we have slow. Terry Anderson, David Martell. No. Well, they are for three years. They usually are one-year terms, but um, when I talked to Peter and mm -hmm. I, I talked to the chairman, too, they said do a three-year term because it's easier for them. So that's okay. what, what yeah, I'm comfortable said to you. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, I am too. Okay, so we have Terry Anderson, David Martell, Daniel Driscoll, Ashley Marks, Vaughn, Team, how do you, Rosario, Fontaline, mm -hmm. Fontaline, Richard Phillips, uh, Matthew Roderick, uh, John Glennon, Raymond Relione, I don't know if that's how you say it, Renaloni, Renaloni, Robert Connor, Matthew Graves, Donald LaFleur, Peter Martell, and Mark Lovely. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And then we have for firefighters, um, Stephen Butnick, Donald LaFleur, Philip Chafee, Linda McCloy, uh, Paul Contois, uh, Matthew Graves, Matthew Roderick, Daniel Driscoll, David Merlot, Robert Connor, Daniel Esser, Jeffrey White, Aaron White, Rice, uh, Charles Edgett, Jesse Finnan, Finnan, yeah, Raymond Morelloni, Ashley Marks, Megan Fortier, Matthew Phillips, Sean Edgett, and Jay Haley. I'll make that motion. Okay. Uh, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And now for the historical, we have Carol Plum for three years. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. 
And now, this is another. We, we have never met. But I did talk to one uh, friend of Medical, and she said it, it should still be, and it should still be, and it should be active, so we should continue okay, to Okay, well, we'll have to then. Okay, I'll stay on as the rep for the Board of Selectmen, and we need Mike Seary, uh, Sally Brown, and Brenda Medifield, and we need a member for this, so we'll have to find a member for him. Uh, make the motion for appointment. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Homeland Security for three years is, I don't know, Keith already has no, it. Second. Okay. All right, Insurance Advisory Committee, one year. Barbara Clancy for the retirees, Sherry Gillen for teachers rep, uh, Linda Lincoln for the town hall retirees, uh, Joanne O'Connell, she's from the uh, school, Sergeant Stephen Pariso for the police, uh, Holly Chilly for the town hall staff, James Boo for water, and Donald Herbert for the highway department. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now we have local access members. We have um, Sharon Mahoney and Daniel K Danielle Kane. I'll make that motion. Okay. All in New favor? New members and you are there too. What? They yeah, we need some. Members. Yeah, we, we need, need some. It. Yeah, because it should be a seven seven member committee, so we can see if we can get about four people to go on. Okay, master plan committee. We have uh, Dr. Peter Levine. I'll make that motion. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we have disbanded this committee. That was the uh, one we had before. But you need uh, seven that weren't we going to get that started up? Yeah, we were going yeah, to get started. We need to yeah, try to, but we don't have uh, yeah. hit the restart button, but we, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll come up with it. I'll start okay. a draft of a charge and get it to you. Oh, we, yeah, did we, we have to have a charge? Yeah, we have a charge. It's just a matter of reaching out to people. Yeah. Okay. 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 Charge. okay. Overseer's Board of uh, Dispatch. It can be either Chief Blanchard or Sergeant Parasol. I think I'd kind of prefer to have Chief Blanchard do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. I think I would also. Okay, make a motion to that. I'll second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. Packing clerk and hearing office for, for, for a year is Michael T. Seary. I'll make the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, all right. Police Chief Michael Blanchard, I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Sergeant Stephen Parasol, Patrolman Sean Marano, uh, Lee Murphy and Ryan Stanley. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, Police Reserve Officers, Serenity Allen, Ryan Kibbe, Greg Pianta, uh, Michael Green, Alex Johnson, and Herbert Duggan. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Now, do we still want to now they're still okay. meeting. They are still meeting. They are still meeting. I had to do that because they have loose ends. They tie okay. up and yeah. I talk right. to yeah, Bill. Then we need to point them. All right, all right. We have uh, Bill Simpson, Kermit Eaton, David Holm, Pat Washburn, Richard Lapierre, Doug Brown, and Peter Martell. I would like to make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now Quaybog Valley Community Development is Mr. Snyder, mm -hmm. and I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Rep Commission is Jeffrey Landeen, Jake Hill, Kyle Hill, and Eric Blake. I'll make that mo oh, yeah, I'll make that motion. Second. Point. All in favor? Aye. Okay, now we come down to the sexual harassment officers. Uh, Kathleen Bradley and Lanny Christer Cryasia. Cryasia. I'll have to learn how to say Cryasia. Uh, I'll make that motion. Second. Um, okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, now we come down to Town Hall Improvement. It is William Simpson, Jr., Al Jones, uh, Don Taft, Carol Plum, and Mary Lou Knight. I'll make that motion. Uh, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, Wire and Inspector is uh, Scott Mansfield, and his alternate is Martin Nagel. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Zoning Board of Appeals, William Nault. I don't think he's on there. Well, um, um, I, yeah, I believe I talked to him. Um, couldn't get a hold of him, but Mike said to appoint him, so. 
for the fire department. Do you have I tried to get a hold of um, of Peter twice yesterday because I wanted to make sure that he, he, I know he was working with Kerry. Couldn't get a hold of him. I know he was busy yesterday, but I mean, I, that's everything that he wrote. Cause he I'm has sure here he's talking to Kerry. He well, anyway. he, he warned us basically that if we go with the intended wage mm -hmm. that currently as budgeted, there's at least a risk. And the, one of the challenges is that you don't actually know how many calls they're yeah, going to have to I know, respond to. So I think you tried to calculate it out at it was a $12,000 yeah, difference. Yeah. yeah. Chief salary is not factor and the wage figure for the remaining is forty one point. Yeah, he's basically saying that at the wages, yeah. uh, it would come out to be about, about nine months of coverage. Yeah. Okay, so we want to do all of these now or what on these? Um, Should we? Well, some of them are four. Okay, no. I think he has a list of them all, so you don't have to really go through them one by one except for the sign them. Right. Okay, see. So what he's got is the firefighters, fire, fire, captains, and lieutenants. Yeah, the firefighters are 12 for one year experience. One to three is 12.50 an hour. Three to five years is 13. Firefighters five to 10 is 13.50 an hour. Firefighters over 10 is 14. Uh, the captain should get 14.20, and the lieutenant should get 14.25. And for calculation purposes, 14 an hour is used. So I'll make a recommendation that we sign that we will sign the wage authorizations for the fire department. Okay, I'll second okay. that. You want to do them now? Or? Sure, we <laughs> might as well look through. Okay. You want to start some and then I'll. Yep. If you give me half the stack, I'll okay. sign. That okay. way they can get processed and yeah. and we have okay. them in time for the next big period. Okay. Today's the twenty seventh. Yeah. I keep checking to see if I hear from Clarence and see if he's... I hope he's all right. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Okay, he said, he said please move forward. Okay, so he's not going to be able to make it. So he's, he's, I think he did okay. Unfortunately, I could take a long lunch today.
Okay. Where's the ones that you're signing? Those are the ones that I've signed. Okay. And I think some of them, when you get to the bottom of it, okay. you'll have your signature mm -hmm. on them. Okay, so we can move on. I'll just stay. Okay. And some of these girls that they Okay. Okay. Now, as far as the insurance document, that just if you want to explain to Beth about. Um, okay. Um, we had we had budgeted at uh, town meeting on the insurance here. This is our renewal for the property and um, liability and all right. of these. We had budgeted one forty one one hundred dollars and it came up to one forty one six hundred dollars. And that was based on yeah. um, Mr. Joseph's recommendations. Yes. I sent you an email. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. Okay. So it is a little more so but, we um, can appropriate the money probably that is uh, the special town meeting and um, in the fall. In the fall for that. And the bills so I'd like authorization to sign it. Karen, I'll uh, make that motion to authorize the okay. chair to sign. Second, all in favor. Aye. Oh, and we're not going to incur any fees because it's a short pay? No, mm -hmm. what it is is, um, quite honestly, um, he, yeah, he, he did approach me with the payment not because we wouldn't be checking the fees and the bulk of it is actually his commission. I believe that he's willing to wait for, so we we'll discuss that. Oh, then I got to print, print the name too? There's one that doesn't have a line, but there is a tab. I questioned him about that. You still have to sign it. There's five places to sign. This is for um, 14000 from the Town Hall Improvement Account for the Advisory Reserve Fund. That's it. That is it. Have they used, didn't they, they've used um, up that much if they need a transfer? Uh, no, if you recall, the, the we're paying for the furnace largely out of uh, oh, the reserve, reserve fund, fund. Yes, yes, funds yeah. from this yeah. year. Okay. Okay. Oh, I, I would like to make a motion to transfer uh, 14000 from from Town Hall Appropriate to the Advisory Reserve Fund. Um, can I amend that? Well, I'll second it, and then we want to amend that to be from the Advisory Reserve Fund to the Town Hall Improvement Account. Oh, it's from? Yes. Oh, so we got to just reverse it. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I'll amend it that it comes from the Advisory Reserve Fund to the Town Hall Improvement Fund. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.
Okay. Okay, this is one for, um... It's, remember when we spoke before about the Dad and Good Friday, and yep. you did say it would be nice to read. So I did send an email out and reached out because July 4th is another one of those holidays. Um, I'm part of the STAM, you know, part of the MMA. It's a whole conversation that goes on between administrative assistants and in the email that I sent you. Again, the consensus is that most places are closing on Monday as well as Tuesday, but it's an unpaid uh, of day off on Monday, do. but so I did offer like, it out to the other. They can like yeah. either take a personal day or they can take a vacation, vacation day. day. They and want pay yeah, or they and, can just yeah, take it And it has been offered to all the employees. Well, I sent that email, which you is, sent the email. you know, I want to include everybody. I mean, they, you can read it. And, it good, and it went to all the department heads? It went to the department yeah. heads, correct. I didn't get any feedback. I asked for feedback. I didn't get any. So, Was Highway on there? I think it was highway. Did I? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same yeah. So if you could forward it, if you could forward it to highway, highway as well. Also. Okay. Um, I don't see any problem with that. No, I would. I would. I would uh, support I doing would. it as an unpaid. Yeah. You know, basically town closure. Yeah. It's it's unpaid if people okay. choose to take it unpaid if they mm -hmm. want to apply time to it. They're free to do yeah. that. Yeah. I'm surprised because I I had a department head. Heading that usually includes all so you just double check. You might want to double check your department head file, it might have be missing highway. Oh, what was the date on that Gmail, Linda? The what? Date on that email? The date on this email. Oh, the day on the e June 15th. Okay. Okay, I will, I'll make a motion that uh, we close on a Monday, July 4th. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, no. No, it's, it's Cindy, Cindy Tom, Cynthia. Oh, oh is it? Okay. Yeah, so I did so remember. Oh, yeah, they're all in that because I knew they were all of you the same heading. So, yeah, she's in that. So, oh. haven't heard anything. So, I guess it's at their own discretion whether they want This to is something um, Karen had. Oh, yes. Karen discussed with me and Clarence. With, um, and Clarence. And we kind of went along with this about closing the town hall on Fridays and then they would, you know, she would work from home. Well, based on part of it's based on the fact that we have I have a problem with the minutes. I'm way behind on the minutes, and I remember that um, years ago that uh, Donna Nalen and also Jennifer did their minutes every Friday. And I know you came in and you said you were concerned about the minutes. I discussed it with Linda, but then Clarence happened to come in, and I threw it out to him, and he said, "Oh, absolutely." He said, and he's not here. Most of the towns, <laughs> most of the towns are not open on. They're all yeah. fresh. Yeah, and she can read that. Yeah. From all. Right, Most and, of them are. and I, I don't have any real, I, I have concerns, security concerns of the fact that it's open, you're back in here, yeah. oh, you know, no. you don't even know who's wandering around. And no. Well, I have to leave this open and listen, but, yeah. That's no. true, and, and, uh, and then people come in too and they expect Cla uh, Karen to take payments and she can't and answer these questions and they get very frustrated to leave. So. Be better have a locked door than <laughs> yeah. that, quite yeah. frankly. And honestly, I mean, more than work at home probably, I'll stay as late as uh, Brenda does sometimes, maybe come a little early in the morning and then maybe work a half a day at home. Or if you read the letter, it's, yeah. I, it can be a combination of anything because I don't want to have to say I'm going to work at home all day if I put in extra hours here and can say after a certain time, just devote it to minutes once the town hall is closed. Town hall technically and closes then, at Don, three or four. Now Donna, you can read this it. is one from her. Donna had made the... Um, an analysis on what we would be saving, and that was back um, those years. And right, so that would only be, well, the oil's a little cheaper now, but the electric's more yeah. expensive, so. We'll and now we have that, that one hallway has air conditioning too. Yep. Which would be, so uh, I think would we would say, so um, would we like to start okay. this day um, as of July 1st? That's what Clarence said. No, Clarence said start at FY18. That's where that came from. That was his suggestion. Hey, July 1st. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'd like to. I'll make a motion that we close the town hall as of uh, July first of uh, the new fiscal year. On Fridays. On Fridays. I'll second that. I'll make the motion. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Okay. And then, so what do we have here for correspondence? Oh. Okay. This is the Brookfield service schedule from CM CM three. Elder bus. Elder bus. Okay, and the the uh, fees for Monday through uh, Friday is a dollar fifty, and they bring a medical from nine to three, 
work 9 to 3 and central business 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then out of, out of town medical is done on Mondays, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then they go to Worcester and Auburn at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Other medical locations between 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Medical trips to the next town are available Monday through Friday during the same time frame. Out of town grocery shopping on Tuesdays at the fair of $1.50 and that's up to Hannaford's in North Brookfield uh, and they drop them off at 10.30 and they pick them up at 12. And the number down there is 1-800-321-0243. So I think that's probably it. Do we have uh, any, do you have anything else that you would like to bring up? No, I don't have anything for today. No, I don't have anything. And then we're meeting again on uh, the 11th. Next Tuesday. We're meeting on uh, um, I mean, Wednesday, Wednesday and until Monday. Oh. Again. Do we have all of, do we have all of our meetings scheduled in? Yes, you do. You have them through, through July, I think it is. Really yeah, the next meeting is going to be July 11th, Tuesday, yeah. Did you say Wednesday? I thought I said Well, we did have one Wednesday, but remember we canceled it? That's right. For this okay, one. so we're going to meet July 11th? And that's when you're going to open the bids to the um, Dunbrook Bridge, too. Okay. And I'd like to actually put on the agenda for that. Let's start on our special town meeting warrant, even though we don't know what our funding is going to be. Let's go ahead and open the warrant and start getting the items moved over that we put on off from the town meeting. On yeah. 7 how many, uh, what else do we have on the agenda? We have um, uh, 7 p.m. bid opening to Dunbrook Bridge. 732 is a class two license. That's okay, from that's FBI. Yeah, and okay. wants to open that, open that up again. CIPC, discussion of capital expenditures for FY18. Uh, Kermit asked me to put that on. Yep, and great. Also put okay. in. Maybe we can do do that together, say maybe first on the agenda with the um, getting ready for the town meeting article. Yeah, okay. so you want to discuss it yeah. or you want to open the let's, special time let's, time. let's open it and start drafting okay. it now so that we're not doing the last minute itis that we yeah, seem yeah. to chronically do but for the town be meeting. Because we have 7 p.m. is That's the, fine. the uh, is a bit open and then 7 30 is the hearing, then after that, so we'll we do can't, it. we okay, so it'll have to be after seven, probably eight o'clock ish. And I don't know because when I talk to um, Al, um, the abutters have to be notified, by the way, and it's uh, the the uh, business's responsibility to do I, that. Yeah, I yeah, told so you that's that. Good. Yeah, uh, anybody uh, within the 300 yeah, feet range. Right. And there are a lot. Oh, there are a lot. So we might have a crowd here, so I don't know. I mean, it might be a while, the hearing. I'm wondering if we should. Wait. I mean, this, that's been there forever. I don't anticipate any problems because it's run as a car dealership for a long time. What happened is they did let it lapse this year, so they have to apply mm -hmm. all over again. It, it's different people leasing mm -hmm. it, but the original owner is still on the property. It would be good to have to be a going concern instead of vacant. I'm not expecting oh. a lot of pushback, but... Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think the Okay, then. What we have to on the agenda, so open the special time anymore. Okay. So we want to open that at six thirty, or what do we have oh, to no. six? Well, what, do we have? I have, I, what I did is I put the bid opening at seven because that's what Cindy, that's what Cindy had planned. Okay. So I figured what so we can we do open is, the meeting at six thirty and yeah. we can maybe burn through like the capital. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. You could usually take them out of order. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right, we'll go through and take them. Yeah. Okay. okay, so that's what's on the agenda. Okay. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, I'd like to make a, if it, anything else? No? Okay, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn at 12.29. Um, I'll second. I think okay. it's really 12.32. Oh, that's slow. Okay, um, all in favor? Aye. Aye.